All right, so let's take a look at Earl, uh, custom URL schemes. To do this, I'm going to create a couple of projects. Um, my first one it will be the actual app that implements um, the custom URL scheme. So I'll just call this the uh, URL scheme demo. And we'll go ahead and put this over in our uh, GitHub repository. And this is lecture 11. So to implement a custom URL scheme, it's qu quite simple. Um, we simply need to make an entry in the uh, info.plist file. But before I do that, I'm just going to modify the interface of this app really slightly here. I'm just going to put a label up here so we can recognize the fact that this app is really running. Um, and I'll just replace the text on here with, I implemented a custom URL. Scheme. So when we run this app, or we manage to run it from Safari or from another browser, we'll actually be able to see that it, um, it did indeed uh, run because we'll see this unique piece of text. So to do this, we're going to go under the supporting files directory and find our info list. And we got to add an URL types entry. So I'm going to uh, select this little plus here. And way down at the bottom, you'll find URL types. And when I do that, I can then open URL types. And it's got a dictionary inside it. And in this dictionary, um, there's an URL identifier. And I'm going to set this to be my bundle. So if I go back here, um, I'll select that, and it's URL scheme demo. And we'll just paste this in here and type in URL scheme demo. And I also need one more uh, item in this dictionary. I need this URL schemes, which is right here for my menu. And if I open that, there's a single item. And this is going to be um, my custom URL. So I'm just going to give it the text, my custom URL. URL, and that's the thing that's going to trigger off, you know, transfer to my application. So I'll save that, and I'll go ahead and run the application. I think I got everything right there. All right, so it runs, and, and all is well. Now, if we did this right, we should be able to open Safari and type in here that URL. So I should be able to say my custom URL colon slash slash and sure enough that runs my application. But obviously that's not very interesting. We want to launch it from another app. So let's just quickly create another project here to demonstrate that. So we'll create a second project and uh, we'll call this our URL scheme launcher because it's going to launch this app. And we'll go into the UI and we'll simply add a button. And we'll put the text on here, launch the URL. And we'll hang a action off that button. And we'll say that launch button pressed. And then we should be able to just say, well, let me get this view right here. All right, we should be able to say, UI application dot shared application dot open URL and pass it in an NS URL 
and we'll create one of those guys. We'll say let the URL equal Ennis URL, and we'll say string, and it was my custom URL, and we pass that in there. And now when we run this application on the same device, oops, oh yes, we got to put the little explicit unwrap on there. Okay, so you can see now that this application is up, and when I click the button, uh-oh. Okay, I wonder if I got the text wrong here. My custom Earl. I think it's the same. Oh, duh. I didn't complete it. It's the little things in life that make makes it complicated. All right. So there we have it. We've been able to run our application that implements a custom URL um, quite, quite easily. Now there's also ways to take that URL and pass arguments and data and information, um, but we'll leave that as homework for you to figure out.